Hey guys, welcome back to Brunson's Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to solve a two-step equation. So in our previous video, we learned how to solve a one-step equation. And so this time, it's just two steps, and it's pretty much the same concept. The only thing that you need to keep in mind is that when you are solving the equation, remember that we are solving for the variable. So mo most commonly, you will see the variable x, OK? So we are trying to isolate that variable, so we want to get rid of everything else that is surrounding that variable. So the first thing that you're going to do is either you're going to add or subtract using inverse operations, and then you'll do your multiplication and your division. So let's go ahead and do an example. So let's say that we have 4x plus 5 is equal to 12. So this time we have two operations. We have addition and we have multiplication. So first we need to do addition or subtraction. So we see that we have plus 5 here. So the operation in this is addition. So we need to do the inverse operation of addition, which is subtraction. So if you want to get rid of plus 5, we're going to have to do minus 5. So if we do minus 5 to this side, remember we must do it to the other side as well. So positive 5 and negative 5 cancel each other out. And so we are left with 4x is equal to 12 minus 5, which is 7. OK, so now that we've done the addition and subtraction, we can go ahead and do the multiplication and division. So in this case, we have x being multiplied to the 4. So if you want to get rid of that 4, we're going to have to divide by 4. So both sides will be divided by 4. So we are left with, remember, the 4s cancel each other out, so we're left with x is equal to, now you can go ahead and do the division and divide 7 by 4 and get a decimal, but most likely you can just leave it as it is. You can leave it as an improper fraction, but just make sure that it has been simplified, and we know that 7 over 4 is in simplest forms. So x is equal to 7 fourths. So now let's go ahead and do another example. Okay, so let's say that we have 5x minus, let's say, 5 is equal to 30. So remember, addition or subtraction first. So in this case, we have minus 5. So if we want to get rid of minus 5, we're going to have to add 5 to both sides because the inverse of subtraction is addition. So negative 5 and positive 5 cancel each other out. And so we are left with 5x is equal to 30 plus 5, which is 35. So now that I've done the addition and subtraction, we can go ahead and do the multiplication and division. So in this case, x is being multiplied by 5, so we're going to divide by 5 on both sides. So 5 and 5 cancel each other out. And we are left with x is equal to 35 divided by 5. And this does go in evenly by 7. So 5 times 7 is 35. And our answer is x is equal to 7. And so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And once again, solving two-step equations isn't really um, anything complicated. It's a very simple, straightforward topic. So as long as you know your inverse operations, that's all you need in order to solve this. And of course, your four basic operations. And so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.